Have you wondered how the early disciples could die hold on to their faith? Have you wondered how the early Christians could praise God even when everything around them seemed hopeless and helpless? How do we also build up our inner selves to withstand the test of time? How do we establish a deeper intimacy with God? How could our relationship with God have a ripple effect on our family and the entire world? Faith of our ancestors, a weekly refreshing from the painting studio of Holy Cross Family Ministry in Ghana, seeks to address these and many other mind-boggling issues pertaining to our faith. A world at prayer is a world at peace. It's a privilege to welcome you all once again to another episode of Faith of Ancestors. Let us pray. O oh God, come to assistance. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. World without end. Amen. Our theme for today's episode is titled, Be Wary of Your Thank. And also, our text of reflection is taken from Proverbs chapter 12, verse 18, which says, Thoughtless words can pierce like a sword. But the thumb of the wise brings healing. Amen. Let's relax and listen to the divine word from Aaronel and Augustine. Faith of our fathers living. Words that come out of your mouth cannot be taken back. Words can make or break someone. Words can heal or hurt someone. Words can soothe or harm someone. Would you like to be a source of hope to someone, or you'd rather be a source of despair? Do you allow words to fly out of your mouth before thinking? Be wary of your tongue. You may not have realized it. Your words can put a smile on someone's face, or be the source of someone's unhappiness. You may not have realized it. Your words can make someone share tears of joy or cause someone to share tears of sadness. Be wary of your tongue. For words that come out of your mouth cannot be taken back. So why not calm down? Pull yourself together. Regain your composure before making any pronouncements. Words that come out of your mouth cannot be taken back. Why not pause? Reflect, cogitate, and mull over your words. Why not ponder over and think through before speaking out? Be wary of your tongue. Interestingly, knives get blunt with use. Scissors get dulled with use. Yes, blades get blunt with use. But this is not so with the tongue. The tongue gets sharper with use. Be wary of your tongue. The tongue can be sharpened on curses or on blessings. Do you curse or bless with your tongue? Death and life are in the gift of the tongue. Beloved, it is inglorious to curse with your tongue. Use your tongue to proclaim blessings. Be wary of your tongue. If the fool holds his tongue, he may pass for wise. Confirm Proverbs chapter 17, verse 28. Beloved, speak good with your tongue. Retain from using bad language, backbiting, lying, and etc. Henceforth, instead of useless talk, instead of opening your mouth to gossip, instead of backbiting or slandering, use your tongue to bless God. Use your tongue to bless God's people. Be wary of your tongue. Our ancestor, Peter, by his tongue, caused Ananias and his wife, Sapphira, to fall down dead after they had lied with their tongue. Confer Acts chapter 5, verse 1 to 10. Beloved, let, let us be wary of our tongue. tongue. Thank you all for watching this episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, press the post notification bell, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all. Stay blessed and stay positive.